Welcome back to Eye on the Bay. I'm Brian Hackney at Death Valley, and now we arrive at the site of a mystery and an unbelievable adventure. There is still something at this park that cannot be explained. We're heading south on Racetrack Valley Road, past Yubi Hebe, a 730-foot wide crater, all that remains of a big steam explosion 3,000 years ago. We're speeding toward Racetrack Playa, a trek very few visitors ever take. No food, no drinks, no pool. Just 27 miles of washboard road, and maybe the most amazing sight in all of Death Valley. Finally, we know we're getting close when we hit Tea Kettle Junction. It's right up ahead. Why do they call it Tea Kettle Junction? This is why they call it Tea Kettle Junction. Brass tea kettles, aluminum tea kettles, tea kettles with writing, tea kettles with bullet holes. Why do they do this? That's a mystery. And in this part of Death Valley, it's not the only one. We speed away from Tea Kettle Junction. We've got another 10 miles before we hit the scene of the mystery. We were here five years ago. Welcome to Death Valley's bizarre racetrack. There's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. Well, I don't know too many other places, if any, in the world where the rocks move, and you know, it's a really unique landscape. Look at that. Whew. On this dry lake bed is a sight that few people will see in a lifetime. Ever seen anything like that? Never, never. Rocks that are making tracks. Just a rock without a trail, I think I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> The strolling stones of Death Valley. For the few people who make the trek, it is a moving experience. Is there anything like that? No, no. there isn't. Yeah, there absolutely isn't. But the big question, how does it all happen? It all begins with wind and the unique nature of the playa. A playa is one of the flattest and most level natural places on the surface of the earth. Racetrack playa is so flat that the north end is only one and a half inches higher than the south end three miles away. When you're on something this flat and you mix it with 90 mile an hour winds and a thin layer of ice, suddenly those rocks become sails and apparently they slide right along the surface and they put a furrow of mud across the lake just like the bow of a boat breaking through water. At least, that's what they think. But the greatest mystery of all is still unsolved because nobody has ever actually seen these rocks move. So truly, who knows? We do know this. The longest trail ever measured was almost 3,000 feet. The rocks move at about six miles an hour. And there's one more thing we know. It's one of those unique places. The rocks definitely make. That is really something. A lasting. Awesome. Impression? I never thought I'd see this. 